every team LeBron beat is way better than all them teams that Jordan beat. Roll them all in a pack and smoke that. <laughs> All of these teams is trash. Hey, stop that, it. That Utah twice caught alone. Stop that's it. it. The Sonics. Stop it. Stop it. He beat up on <laughs> Dale Ellis and them. Shut the <laughs> f up. You <laughs> don't know what it's like when some killers walk in the gym. Oh, shit, that's Clay. Oh, that's Steph. Dream of oh, Durant there too. Oh, niggas are wilding over there. Stop, yo. On what stratosphere could LeBron teams be better than Michael Jordan teams? I'm just convinced at this point, people like Joe Button, who is obviously struggling with the views. You see certain moves that people make to know when they're falling off. Joe Button had to add eye candy onto his podcast in regards to, you know, the female host that's on the show, his female co-host that's on the show, and Melissa Ford, who was probably hot back in the early 2000s. Like, it's 2023 now. So he had to go get Melissa Ford to help his podcast flourish and, you know, continue to generate views because his numbers are plummeting. So they have to say things like this for shock value. They have to or they're connected to um, different entities that's funding them money so they could be able to go out there and say these outlandish things and convince you that LeBron James is in the same realm as Michael Jordan. But this stuff is merely laughable, especially when you use logic and use common sense. That's why context is key. He went and added Queen's Flip. Queen's Flip don't need Joe Budden. The teams that LeBron James went up against, Michael Jordan would have destroyed. And the teams that LeBron James lost to, he would have defeated with flying colors. Michael Jordan and the Bulls would have washed the San Antonio Spurs in 2007. LeBron James got swept. Everybody is in agreement that Kobe Bryant is the closest thing to Michael Jordan that we've ever seen, that we've ever seen. So if Kobe Bryant was able to defeat the two teams that LeBron James lost to, which is the 2009 Orlando Magic and the 2010 Boston Celtics, if Kobe Bryant defeated them with just Pau Gasol, wasn't even a top 75 player of all time. So if Kobe was able to defeat both of those teams, that Magic team and that Celtics team without a top 75 player, what do you think Jordan would have did with the Bulls? <laughs> like, make it make sense. You think about the Dallas Mavericks. Jordan would have washed the Dallas Mavericks. You're talking about an old team. Y'all say Michael Jordan and the Bulls went up against the Utah Jazz and the Jazz were an old team. But LeBron James lost to Derek Nowinski and a team full of old players. He was getting locked up by J.J. Barea, getting outscored by Jason Terry. He beat a young OKC team. You don't think that Jordan would have swept that OKC team? We talking about a young, inexperienced OKC team, Kevin Durant, before the MVP. Russell Westbrook, before the MVP. James Harden, before the MVPs. Like, Let's make it make sense. We're talking about James Harden without the beard, who looked like a child stalker. Come on, bro. Then he beat an old San Antonio Spurs team. But what do you think Jordan would have did to that San Antonio Spurs team? And the difference between Ray Allen and Kyrie Irving hitting the last shot, I want to make this point before I lose my train of thought. The difference between Kyrie Irving and Ray Allen hitting the shot and Paxson hitting the shot and Steve Kerr or whatnot Michael Jordan passed Steve Kerr the ball. They drove a play for Steve Kerr. Kyrie Irving took upon himself, went one-on-one -on -one with Steph Curry, and decided to take matters in his own hands, you know, and make the clutch shot to close the game out, really. Chris Bosh passed Ray Allen the ball. So it was two totally different scenarios. So Ray Allen saved LeBron James' legacy, bro. Then he lost to the San Antonio Spurs the following year. An old San Antonio Spurs. And their youngest player was Kawhi Leonard. You got locked up by Kawhi Leonard. Got beat by a record margin. Then you go back to Cleveland and you get a rigged championship. You don't think that Michael Jordan would have defeated. And I, I want to make this point. First, y'all say had Kyrie Irving and Kevin Love not got injured, that, that the Cavs would have defeated the Warriors, right? So the following season... Y'all supposedly defeated 
the Golden State Warriors, the 73-9 season. Y'all said that the 73-9 season was overrated on one hand. It was a fluke, blah, blah, blah. Then in another breath, y'all say it's the greatest team ever assembled. Assembled. I'm confused. So then y'all get mad at Kevin Durant for joining a so-called 73-9 team. But y'all just said that had not Kyrie Irving and Kevin Love not got injured, he wouldn't have won anyway. So obviously, they needed Kevin Durant. It's not like he joined a 73-9 team that won the finals. And furthermore, Kevin Durant and the Golden State Warriors went seven games with the Houston Rockets, bruh. With the Houston Rockets. But you mean to tell me that LeBron James, along with Kyrie Irving and Kevin Love, who remind you, he won the championship with. He couldn't even take him to a seven-game series like James Harden did. Listen to what y'all saying. And then the Lakers and the Miami Heat. <laughs> this got to be a joke, bro. If Michael Jordan would have played in a bubble atmosphere with no fans. Listen, bro, Michael Jordan is 10 times better than LeBron James. It's not even close. He shouldn't even be in a conversation with Michael Jordan. LeBron James is top 50 at best, bro. He's not top 5, top 10, top 15. It's players far greater than him. If majority of the top players had the talent that LeBron James had throughout his career, never have you seen somebody who's considered in the same breath as Jordan play alongside somebody who is arguably top three greatest shooting guard of all time. Nobody in here would say that Scottie Pippen is a better player than Dwayne Wade. Nobody. Dwayne Wade already won a championship without LeBron James. Michael Jordan would have swept the Miami Heat in the NBA Finals with Jimmy Butler, his son. Considering the rules, playing in the 90s, hand checking, the physicality, like we, what are we talking about here? Not even the physicality, we talking about the mental toughness. It's a whole different type of error. LeBron James wouldn't have survived, bro. Michael Jordan would have destroyed the Golden State Warriors, bro. And the teams that LeBron lost to, Jordan would have beat them with flying colors. The San Antonio Spurs were just as old as that Utah Jazz team. That's what they're not talking about. See, they're not going to go and do the research because the media isn't encouraging them to do that. They're not, you know, persuading them to go read the stats that go against LeBron. They're not going to do that. But if you go do your own research, you will see that that Spurs team, when LeBron James faced in Miami, faced them in Miami, they were just as old as that Utah Jazz team, bruh. What are we talking about? The Dallas Mavericks. Kawhi Leonard, before he got injured, everybody was praising Kawhi Leonard in the Warriors and Spurs series. Zaza Pachulia stepped on his foot. Everybody said, oh man, if Kawhi Leonard never got injured, they would have won that series. So what you think Jordan would have did? Like people don't realize the dumps that they say, they contradict themselves. 